Hi, 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 and welcome to Agent Republic. We've got the fabulous Claudio and Cena <laughs> and Suzanne King. Today we're talking about a topic that probably doesn't get covered a lot, and it's something I'm really deeply passionate about: is businesses that are set up to be socially responsible and why you'd actually want to do it. So, socially responsible businesses are businesses that care for something beyond themselves. So that's beyond your own profits, beyond your own team, and beyond your own clients. They're the businesses that go out there and they see a problem either in their local community or maybe globally and they say, I want to be a part of the solution. I firmly believe, like I know you guys are real estate agents, but truthfully, you're entrepreneurs. And I firmly believe that entrepreneurs are the new um, agents of change, I guess. They're the ones that can actually make a real positive impact. So the reason why this is really important to you, and I know Claudio is going to jump in sooner or later, but yeah. The reason why this is really important to you is this can be one of the biggest ways to differentiate yourself because what we're seeing is you think about the industry unfortunately there are some real estate agents out there that probably don't give you guys a really good rap so it's that sort of that sleazy you know drive the fast cars and it's all about me 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 that kind of image and we know that's not you but people you've that, that perceptions out in the industry so you guys have got to come up with quite unique ways to overcome that and one of the best ways of doing that is to start looking at how can our business show that it cares and how can it really actually make a positive impact. So from a marketing perspective, it's actually a really smart strategy. You know, I've got some of my guys, they've, you know, they've started charities or they've done big charity events or they've sponsored things. They've done a lot of that, but they've done it in unique ways where it's more than just throwing cash. Yes. It's actually showing that they care. Yeah. So one thing I'd recommend is find something that you genuinely are passionate about and care about because people can feel the sincerity behind that. Yeah, absolutely, Susanna. And I think it comes down to contribution, you know, giving back. Mm. And, you know, I remember a couple of years ago, I was dealing with a client who was an agent and he said, Claudio, you know, I gave $10,000 to the local junior soccer club and yeah. I didn't get one lifting out of it. Oh. And, I, and, I, and I don't think I'll be sponsoring that next year. If you're doing it for that reason, get out of the game. Or yeah, exactly like, you know, right, you, know you know don't I mean? care. Like, it's, it's, it's not about that. Like, if you actually genuinely want to give $10,000 to the local junior mm. soccer club, mm. it's because you want to see you know, soccer development in the area, you want to give something back to the kids in the area. It's not about like you looking for the next listing no. or, or finding the next lead, because if you go in with that mentality, I really truly believe you're going to lose the game every time. So mm. I think contribution is important, yes. but don't expect anything back. But it's like, if you go with the yeah. mindset all the time, I'm putting something in, I want something back. It's like, when I give someone a gift, I never want anything back from them. I don't ever look at it that way. I think you're giving it because you well, genuinely love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you genuinely are passionate about giving something to someone. But if you go in with the the, 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 the belief of I'm giving something to someone Where's and I my want return? something back, where's my return? You're going to lose. And here's the reason why you're going to lose is because you'll miss out on the small conversation. Mm. So here's the thing. You go in there with the attitude, okay, $10,000 for the soccer team, right? You go in there. You're like, where's the return on investment? Your brain's focused here. You miss out on little Johnny or whatever the kid's name is, mother and father. You miss out on having that unique connection and that conversation. As we keep saying, it takes 18 months for somebody to choose their real estate agent. So because you're coming in with this attitude of what can I get, what can I get, what can I get? You're actually missing out on actually engaging and connecting with people for the right reason. And that's where you'll miss the little conversation where people will know, like, and trust you. So we want to make sure that you're doing it for the right intention. Also too, one thing that we know is a great way to motivate yourself is to find a why. Now your why is built over time with different things. Being socially responsible can give you that drive and that passion because now you know, hey, my business is not only here to fund all the cool things in my life, and that's perfect, that's great, let's do that, and to look after my team, but we've got this mission that we're after. So that can give you extra motivation and inspiration. And then finally, if you think about it, it's a great way to connect your team. I've seen so many teams come together because finally they've got a cause that's bigger than themselves, that they're passionate about, that they're united for, and it gives them a reason to go out into the community and start a new conversation outside of just the real estate game. Yeah, I remember a guy, he was working in the inner city and he did that working at Matthew Talbot. And, he, and in his area, in his community that he serves and sells, mm. and you remember seeing the homeless people, and he yeah. felt really guilty. He was wearing an Armani suit, driving a, a Porsche. Not that there's anything wrong, wrong with that. Yeah. No, no, no. But he just felt like he needed to do something in his mm. community because he saw all these homeless people. And he started working with Matthew Talbot. He's been doing that now for close to 10 years. He volunteers Spot and on. serves breakfast 
once a month yes. and he doesn't expect anything out of but it. But he will get something in return. Well, I tell you, he did. Yeah, exactly Because right. the chairwoman of Matthew Talbot at the time yes. was uh, Lady Fairfax and she rang him one day, she wanted to sell an investment and said, I believe you actually been working in here for a couple mm. of years serving breakfast to the homeless and I'm actually thinking about selling my investment property. Yes. And he didn't want, like he wasn't ever doing it for the getting getting a lead or getting a listing. He just wanted to help the people in his area. But this is how it works. Mm. That's why it works. And think about too, PR opportunities. Yeah. PR opportunities, how fantastic is that? And also too, I know some of my guys have done some really cool stuff. And what did that do for me? I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I want to support you. And hey, I've got a database of all of these people. Let me forward it to my database and let me introduce you to my database of people because the people in my database are going to be people that could be potential clients. So again, it's another reason for your clients, another reason to get back in touch with your clients, but it also can be another way they can share about you without it being real estate. Exactly right. <laughs> so this is why we think it's really important to be a socially responsible business. So we would love to hear from you. Are you doing something in the space already? And if you are, please share it with us because, hey, if it's something that we're passionate about, we'd love to support you. And then secondly, why do you think it's really important? If you want the community to serve you, you've got to give back to the community yes. first. 